I just came to record a quick intro and of course Jetty starts playing with the loudest toy available. <laughs> so we're gonna play with the xylophone, are we? Yep. Okay. Okay, so I made a vlog thing about my parents moving house but I had to come back and film this little intro because I was watching it and realized that there was some information missing and it didn't quite make sense so my parents moved house on Friday but the reason it's more of a big deal is because they've actually moved interstate so we're in New South Wales and they've moved to Queensland hi darling <laughs> hi you wanted to come say hi? Say hi. Just... Yeah, so they have moved, and that's for those who don't know, it's about um, like it'd be about a 12 hour drive or a, an hour or two flight. Hi. So that's why. Um, that's why I was sort of, I'm sort of a little bit, you'll see in the video, it'll make more sense. So when I talk about the, the little gift package that I made them, they left their house on Friday, but the removalists didn't come to pick up their stuff until a couple of days after they moved. And then they were traveling and they met them up at the new house today with the removalist. So now that I've given you this introduction, the rest of the content of this video should make a bit more sense. So I'm going to go now, get back to this. Who is due for a nap? <laughs> okay. On to, on to the vlog. See ya. Bye. No. Um, today is the... Let's have a look at an actual calendar. Hmm. Today is the 11th of December and I have just had my mother's group over and we take turns hosting. There's about six or seven of us. So I've got kind of a bit of a mess going on now. It's not too bad, but baby's been playing. We had a really nice morning and now I'm just chilling out a little bit and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Hi, Jetty. Here at Nanny and Gaspar's house that they're moving out of tomorrow. Coping too well this morning, fighting back those tears. Not going to be able to for very long. We're here for lunch with mum and dad and my brother. And yeah, it's hard. It's very hard. And Jetty, nice view of the backyard. Are you dressed? Not quite. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's Nanny and Gaspar doing? Mm. Nanny's sweeping. Wait. Hello, Nanny. Huh? Hi, Nanny. Hi, Jenny. Oh, <laughs> Taking a video for. You're taking a video. Hi, Gaspar. Hello. Hi. Hello, Jed. Packing up shop. Packing up shop. Oh, that's well <laughs> the shade difference between that and that. I'm not very good at the roll. Nice the surprise roll under the, the mat for the new eventually. owners. So these have all been dry cleaned. Yep. What is this What are you doing? We'll see you in a few weeks. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah, Jenny. 
And what are we going to buy Mummy for Christmas? Oh. Hmm. What are we going to buy? Oh, I like this. <laughs> I like that. Nanny's necklace. Yeah, he likes that. Don't you, darling? Mm -hmm. It matches your eyes, Teddy. Look at it, darling. Does it match your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Uncle Benny. Hey. Hmm. You want to give it a shake? Mm. Ah. Yeah. Give it a shake. Shake a shake. Dice, Sitting at the kitchen table having some lunch. Okay, so in this next bit, what I forgot to tell you is that on this day, I had gone shopping to get some little bits and pieces to make a present for mum and dad to leave in their house with the boxes with some essential stuff so that they would get a surprise box from the removalists because I have a spare key, or I had a spare key at their house. So much for baby proofing. Oh boy. Okay. What you doing? We live in a really awkward living setup because there's nowhere to really cut off the space so we've got two lounges here and then that's just open over there and we can't block off the kitchen because we wouldn't be able to open our fridge and then we have this entry table there which we need to block off so he doesn't pull it down and we kind of need that entry table because it got like our keys on it and it's where we charge our phones and just with limited storage and things we really do need that there you can see I don't think that's gonna last very long especially when he's standing up on it <laughs> so we need to move house bye tell me something boy Aren't you tired trying to fill that void? Or do you need more? Ain't it hard keeping it so hardcore? I'm falling. In all the good times I find myself longing for change. And in the bad times I feel myself so these are the things that I bought for mum and dad's little care package for when they first unpack their kitchen. I got them this bottle of sangria with an orange to cut to go in it and I'll put in a couple of cups as well. And I'm just going to put one more thing in there. Let's go into the garage. Um, you know what, I might give them like a paper towel and good old toilet roll they'll get a laugh out of the toilet roll okay so this is how the box is looking I've got the sangria on top and I have the orange and some paper plates and cups I almost forgot probably the most important part the chocolate okay so I keep adding to this but I just found this little card from my Kiki K paper lovers book I don't know if you so this is just a mess but <laughs> makes it space if you haven't seen these paper lovers book they're full of like stickers tags labels uh, little cards and I use these heaps when I'm just making little sort of maybe unplanned gifts or things like that that I haven't planned for 
I can always find a little card or something like that just to make just to add a little special touch to little gifts but I've added a garbage bag because you know they might not have those at hand and I've added a just the end of a shopping list and a pen that I had a blank shopping list pad because you know they might need to mum might need to send dad to the shops and you know they might need a pen you're laughing at me you're laughing at me i think you are yeah <laughs> okay so jet actually did end up going down for a nap fingers crossed it's still a decent sleep so i've put together this package um I just wrapped it in like the most OTT blend of wrapping papers that I had available. So hopefully when the removalists plonk this in their new kitchen among all the brown boxes, they'll see it straight away. So I'm just going to put this label on top, say kitchen, no further explanation and yeah hopefully mum will open it straight away and get a bit of a kick out of that i know she will i'm pretty happy with that hello so i'm here at mum and dad's house and they are gone they left this morning and it's really really weird i like pulled into the driveway and it just i don't know it just feels really really weird knowing that they are never going to come back to coming inside this house it's actually raining outside it's really beautiful outside oh, opened quite easily i probably can't take this too far because of the rain but gonna really miss this bush this is mum's garden or part of her garden but I'm gonna really miss this beautiful bush um lovely garden and that's the valley I used to go walking and running down there all the time and the pool yeah and to go inside because it's raining i just take a seat in the middle of the stuff here um, i looked at the weather tomorrow and it's going to be raining but like humid so i'm thinking if my if my nieces want to go for a swim maybe we'll all come over here and go for a swim and just sort of hang out and um have like one little last hurrah That'd be really fun. I wish it was sunny though, because that would even be more fun. Be even more fun. I don't know why, I just like it. I feel really attached and it feels really strange to sort of have the like the family home base be gone. So anyway, I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. Lindsay's um, mum is watching Jed, so she's over there which is great because I can just sort of um, like I was able to come over here without having to lug him in and out of the rain and I can just kind of sit here and take it all in and process um, this probably all sounds crazy but I guess I'm a bit sentimental and I'm going to add my little packed box to the pile here in the kitchen so let's just do that now with the stuff to be packed kitchen i hope they just pop that front and center so that's nice and obvious anyway um that's really that's really all i have to say on this um topic of parents moving out so i think i'll end this here and yeah i'm just gonna chill out here for a little bit i'll give um 
Lindsay's mum and Jed some more hangout time together. They're only five minutes away and then I'll just head back. Thanks for watching everyone and I will talk to you again soon. Bye! Storm coming. Look at that sky. Everybody out of the pool.